This is the impact of Hurricane Maria in Guadalupe. Extremely violent winds hitting there overnight. The government on the island has issued an order telling everyone on the island to stay inside until this hurricane passes. Hurricane Maria has been upgraded to a Category 5 hurricane as it roars through parts of the Caribbean, already battered by Hurricane Irma. The storm is moving west now and is expected to hit the island of Puerto Rico tomorrow. The U.S. territory hasn't suffered a direct landfall hit from such a strong hurricane in 85 years. Puerto Rico's governor declared a state of emergency ahead of this storm and is evacuating nearby islands St. Thomas and St. John. For more on Maria's path, we'll send it over now to Denny Hawkins, who's been watching this storm closely. Yeah, good morning, you guys. Again, amazing to see the transition with Maria over the course of 24 hours. Yesterday at this point in time, we were looking at a Category 1 hurricane, rapid strengthening occurring throughout the day yesterday. Now Category 5 dropped briefly to Category 4 overnight, but again, now back to that Category 5 status. That's about as bad as it can get. We're looking at 160 mile an hour sustained winds. You can see as it moved through yesterday, late at night, straight through the island of Dominica. And now again, sitting off that west coast of Guadalupe, heading straight toward areas like Puerto Rico, as we mentioned there earlier. So again, we'll look at the track of this, but just know this is another monster storm uh, brewing here in the, the Caribbean this morning. So category five pushing its way. Most of the computer models pretty much on track with the fact that this is going to scoot right off that northerly edge, uh, northeastern edge of Puerto Rico and then move continually to the northwest before turning more in a northerly direction as we get out towards days three, four, five. With that, there's more uncertainty. Once this makes landfall and kind of interacts with land, we're expecting it to weaken a little bit toward a category three status over the coming days, but still a very powerful storm. Hard to imagine the devastation coming our, their way uh, down there in countries like Puerto Rico and some of those surrounding islands. As you could hear, those winds really tell you all you need to know. We'll have much more on your local forecast and any other updates on Maria coming up here in the next half hour. Brian.